Um, another question from Ra Randolph Murdoch, also known as Agamotto. Hey, Agamotto. Agamotto says, hi, Robbie. I finally have a question for you. I've been cool. given a pivoting monitor by someone who upgraded to a larger size. It is a Samsung SyncMaster 943BWX. I am using the NVIDIA 177 drivers, and when I try to pivot the monitor, nothing happens. I went into screen resolution under preferences, and it gives me two options for rotation, normal and upside down. I'm not sure. It's a lot of good, isn't it? <laughs> Which would you like? It's the same thing, just your buttons are at the top instead of the bottom. Yeah. I'm not sure how to actually get the monitor image to rotate. Um, as I did add the rand rotate on to xorg.com. Right. X, xorg.conf is a file that configures your X environment. X.org oh, okay. is like your windowing environment. So uh, RAND R rotate, Rand uh, R setting that rotate. to on allows you to rotate the uh, the desktop. But I think what he's saying is that his drivers are not showing it as an option. So oh. as a supplement to that, so you've you've you're, you're on the right track by adding that to xorg.conf, I believe. Um, but what we want to also do is use the application called RAND or R and uh, let's see, uh, let's see, uh, X RAND R, I think. X Rand R. <laughs> it's always a complicated one. All these weird uh, Linux names. There it is. I just typed it in just to make sure I had it right. X Rand R or X R and R. Just, uh, use that command with dash O and then orientation like right. You can find out more by typing X Rand R dash dash help. And you'll see that the orientation dash O, see at the top there? Your options are normal, inverted, left, right, or you can use numerical values as well. Let me know if that works for you. That application from Terminal is going to allow you to uh, rotate that uh, just using that command. And then just set it back to normal when you want to switch your monitor back. Agamotto says, ah, the missing piece. Thanks a lot. No problem. Hope that works. I, I, I love a, a widescreen monitor tipped on its side for reading like PDF files and stuff. It's like looking at a book. It's beautiful. But oh. none of my monitors rotate. Oh, no. So I thought about getting a VESA mount, but they're like 200 bucks, And it's like, well, what's the point? And so that will allow it to rotate, or does it do anything else for you, a VESA mount? A VESA mount is like a, a stand that allows you to kind of move it around, move your monitor around, oh, rather okay. than these integrated stands. OK. But can you imagine, like some of these monitors, like the HP monitors are gorgeous. Uh, and I, I'm sure that there's other ones, that, uh, but that's the one that I've seen, um, that turn sideways. So you get a widescreen monitor that's like this. Yeah. And you flip that thing sideways, and now it's tall instead of wide. That's perfect. So you know, when you look at a piece of paper, that's exactly how your paper is. So it's more natural. Yeah, you're I not think. scrolling down every makes couple of seconds. Yeah, it makes me wonder why uh, it's not more common mm -hmm. like for manufacturers to be doing that. I think maybe it might happen, especially as things get bigger. Maybe originally it wasn't practical. Because a 14-inch monitor turned sideways What's the is difference? so tiny, it's like ridiculous. But yeah. Um, but maybe as they, you know, a 28-inch monitor, on the other hand, you know, flipped yeah. this way, it would be absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You'll notice as well that Interface Lift uh, supports some of those neat resolutions for desktop wallpaper. Because that's the other thing is you need you don't want your wallpaper oh, to be right. sideways. Yeah. Right. And you don't want it to have black bars on the top and bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. 